picture perfect weather for that. I know you, but when we start saying picture perfect over and over and over, <laughs> and I'm like getting a little nervous. I want the rain to start oh, coming okay, in here, okay. so we're hoping, keeping our fingers crossed. And I also want to bring this up real quick, a uh, little earthquake action you can see right there. I'm not sure on the details at 2.4 is really not much to worry about. And of course, you can put it into context and you see the whole Pacific Rim, as usual, very active, but we want to focus over here. And it's not, I think the good news is, is this is not making a big story right now, but that is Mindanao, uh, the big island of the Philippines. Um, Manila is pretty far up close to that P in the word past. Uh, so it looks like they've done okay, but they had a 7.6 earthquake and they actually had some small tsunami waves. Good news is it looks like they've weathered it fairly well. So I just wanted to point that out. And a quick look at our temperatures today, 60s, a couple of 70s, only at 70 for San Inez, Ojai, and uh, not much better as you went farther north into uh, above Point Conception, Lompoc, almost at 70, at 69, Pismo Beach at 68. Chilly mornings the last couple of days might be um, sort of a, a a bit better the next couple of mornings because we have some clouds right now and currently seeing widespread 50s across the board wind that'll likely be our story again as we start to head into the next couple of days we don't expect a big wind maker over the next couple of days but the direction will be out of the north uh, maybe a little northwest here and there and then slowly turning northeasterly with a, a, a slight Santa Lucia for our northern areas and then of course the Santa Ana not expected to be a robust one so maybe we'll even stay out of the doghouse as far as a wind advisory, uh, but those hum the humidities you see right there will definitely crash the next couple of days. Right now, they're very high up, so we might get some beach fog. Not expecting a whole lot there, but inland, whenever you have these high um, high humidity levels and then the temperature gets real cold, you can run into ground fog, tule fog. For this time of year, it's uh, very normal. High pressure is still holding its, its game right here, um, but it's what we call a dirty ridge because some energy is getting in there. And boy, look at that low in the Gulf of Alaska just driving like a pinwheel storm storm after storm into the Pacific Northwest. The good news is they're getting it. The bad news, of course, is we're still waiting for our turn and uh, maybe a bit better. Go, try to get a little positive here. Some heavy rain for extreme northern California. Let's hope some of that gets into the Sierra because then we know it feeds into the entire water system. We do have a slight chance of maybe some rain late in the work week. Um, right now, about let's say 60 to 70 percent of our weather computers right now are airing on another set the system running over the top of us like we're seeing now um, but there is a slight outside chance that well maybe we'll get more of a water trajectory and if that's the case we could see some rain possibly by next week and so again the good news is we're seeing lots of activity to our north snow and rain of course uh, down around my kneecaps is where we are and we're just not getting it yet but let's keep positive at least it's very active and uh, on the future cache you can see again everything running over the top of us the good news is it looks like some some uh, snow around Lake Tahoe and then watch here comes the offshore flow and you can see where it clears out and uh, the cloud cloudless skies and again that telltale sign of uh, the classic California fall early winter sometimes all winter we don't want that uh, weather where we, we are definitely the envy with all the sunshine there's the northerly winds the next couple of days and if we can keep them under maybe 25 to 30 miles an hour and it looks like we kind of flirt with some maybe 25 mile an hour ranges around Gaviota tomorrow and the next day and then we'll we will expect once we get to Monday and Tuesday to see more of an offshore or northeasterly flow so uh, again, that would be probably more toward late Monday, early Tuesday, giving us more perfect weather probably right through about Wednesday. And then hopefully we'll start to go back with some clouds as we head toward the second half of the work week and maybe get that rain chance. All right, there's your temperatures for both Sunday. We'll fast forward, look at the 60s and a couple of 70s. Fast forward to Monday and we'll more than likely see a bit of improvement with some 70s could possibly see even some high 70s and maybe even an 80 early next week. All right, there's your temperatures for the south coast. Beautiful as always, some low 50s for your lows. And then uh, same story as you had farther north, a little chillier in the morning, but the afternoons, 60s and 70s. Same story as we bounce from San Luis Obispo County back down to beautiful Ventura County. You can see right there a chilly start in Ojai at 28, but then 73 by the afternoon. Surf, uh, we do have some waves, mainly out of the northwest kind of a combo swells and a little wind swell mixed in. And there's your seven day forecast. Quiet with a moderate breeze through the next few days. Then we turn the corner on Wednesday, bring back the clouds. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave the 20% chance there because the computer did it. And that means I can blame it if it's wrong again. And we'll leave it at that. And just hopefully we'll, we'll definitely get cooler weather, but let's hope some rain shows up by next weekend. We'll be right back.